While Disney will continue licensing some of its content to third parties, CEO Bob Iger said the company will not chase bucks by giving away its core brands. We've actually been licensing content to Netflix and are going to continue to. We're actually in discussion with them now about some opportunities, but I wouldn't expect that we will license our core brands to them. Those are real, obviously competitive advantages for us and differentiators, Iger said. Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, for instance, are all doing very, very well on our platform, and I don't see why, just to basically chase bucks. We should do that when they are really, really important building blocks to the current and future of our streaming business, he continued. This comes after Iger had famously disdained the idea of licensing the studio's content to Netflix specifically, saying in a January 2022 interview with the New York Times that it would be like selling nuclear weapons technology to a third world country, and now they're using it against us. He reversed his position on that at the company's annual shareholder meeting on April 3rd, where he first said that the company would not license its core brands to third parties but would consider on occasion licensing other products. This position still stands in contrast to moves from WBD CEO David Zaslav, who has been aggressively licensing his company's content, including titles such as Westworld and the Nevers to Tubi and Roku and other marquee titles, such as Insecure and Dune to Netflix. This comes as Zaslav tries to pare down the company's debt. Still. Speaking on the earnings call earlier Wednesday, Zoslav said the content that's consumed heavily on Macs, such as White Lotus and The Last of Us, is likely to stay exclusive to platform in order to distinguish the brand. However, he added that there's a lot of content that's not being consumed heavily on Macs, and so those are the easy ones. Licensed content is not exclusive to those platforms, he added, and is windowed for three to six months meaning that viewers may see a DC movie on another video-on-demand platform and then return to Max. We have found we won't do it unless the economics are significant. But in many cases, it really helps us people come back and then they want to see the full bouquet of DC movies, he said. Many other streamers have also been licensing content to Netflix, including NBC Universal Suits as well as Paramount, which agreed to license its animated series Star Trek. Prodigy to Netflix after its cancellation at Paramount+.